Okay, this is today's homework. I'm sure we did most of these in class. Well, you should know how to do these. Now, let's see if we were right here. So point that's not even close to all the other ones are called outliers. This has one outlier right there. This graph right here has no outlier. But we need to find the line of the equation for this line of best fit. So if there's a zero on that line, always choose that one. It's called the y-intercept or B, it's 0, 10. Okay, always use that. You cannot use these dots. They're not on the line that's given to us. It's not on this line. We can use 4, 8, 16, 2, or 18, 1. So it doesn't matter which one you use there or 8 or six, um, seven, eight, six, any of them that's on the line, you can use any dots. You can make them, but you cannot use one that's off that line. So I'll use zero, 10 as my x sub one and y sub one. Then I'll use, uh, most of you will use 16 and 2, so I'll use that. X sub 2, Y sub 2. So you need a first, you, we use point slope, Y minus Y sub 1 equals to M parentheses X minus X sub 1. Okay, so now you do Y minus y sub 1, which is 10, equals to m, we don't know yet, x minus x sub 1, which is 0. You find m, which is called the rate of change, by using, we're finding this rate of change, or slope, and that formula for m is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. It's called the rate of change or slope. Okay? And y sub 2 is 2 minus 10 y sub 1 over x sub 2, which is 16 right here. And x sub 1 is 0 minus 0. You get negative 8 over 16. I'll put it down at the bottom because we need the work to show here negative 8 over 16, which can we reduce to negative 1 half. Negative 1 half here. Okay, we'll distribute first always. So you get negative 1 half x, because parentheses goes first, times 0 is 0 plus 0 equals to y plus negative 10. Add 10, add 10. Your equation then is y equals negative 1 half x plus 10. Right there. Okay, and here you choose these two dots. I think we chose it in class already. 4 and 11 for one of my class. But remember, you can choose this one and 19. That's not as good, but 12 and 9, those are good ones. As long as it's on the line. And do the same thing as you do here. So why? minus y sub 1 equals to m parentheses x minus x sub 1 y minus 12 equals
equals to x minus x sub 1. And then we go, OK, to find the rate of change, or what we call slope, rate of change or slope. Both words mean the same, m y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. y sub 2 is 11 mm -hmm. minus 12 over 4 minus 0. You get negative 1 over 4. So negative 1 over 4 is your rate of change on m slope. It all means the same. Oh, x sub 1 is 0. Oops. Distribute. You didn't get negative 1 half x plus negative. That's a 0. Equal to 1 minus 12 plus negative 12. Add 12. Add 12. Then your answer is y equals to negative 1 fourth x plus 12. Okay, this one here. I always try to pick the y-intercept right there at 0, 5. That's my first point, x sub 1, y sub 1. And then my second point could be this one here. Could be anyone on this line. So I'll use 10. Can you, we can use 4. Let's use 4 and 9. That's x sub 2, y sub 2. Doesn't matter as long as you choose points that's on that line. We call that line the line of best fit. That line is called the line of best fit. Okay, so we do y minus y sub 1 equals to m parentheses x minus x sub 1. That's called point slope formula. y minus y sub 1, which is 5, equals to x minus x sub 1, which is 0 again. And this is m. We need to find y sub 2 minus, that's called the rate of change, a slope formula, y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. y sub 2 is 9 minus y sub 1, which is 5. 9 minus 5 over x sub 2, 4 minus 0. So 4 over 4, right? which is 1, reduced to 1. 1x one times, times 0 is 0, equals y plus a negative 5. Add 5, add 5, yet y equals 1x plus 5. Okay, this one, 0, we don't know. There's no y-intercept for 0. So we're going to choose, mm, let's mm. see, 8 will work. Six Also, 6 and 1, 8, 10, even 9 will work, all these. So let's choose 1. Some of you will choose 15 and 10. And then probably 10 and 5. X sub 1, Y sub 1 x sub 2, y sub 2. Okay. Um, use y minus y sub 1 equals to m. We call this formula point slope. x minus x sub 1. y minus y sub 1, which is 5, equals to m, we don't know, x minus x sub 1, which is 10. Let's find the rate of change, also known as slope. m equals the rate of change is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 mm -hmm. minus x sub 1. 
So y sub 2 is 10 minus y sub 1, which is 5. x sub 2 is 15 minus 10. This is 5 over 5, which is again 1. Same as 4 over 4 is 1, 5 over 5 is 1. 6 over 6 is 1, okay, 1x plus a negative 10 equals y plus negative 5. We call this additive inverse, right? Add 5, add 5. y equals 1x. Subtract these because the signs are different. You get a negative 5. So the y-intercept is at negative 5. Okay, you solve this by multiplying. Distribute first. 1 divided by 5 times 10 is 6m. 1 divided by 5 times a negative 5 is a negative 3. Bring everything else down that you haven't worked with. 13m plus 15, add these two together, you get 13m plus negative 3, 13m plus 15, this will be no solution, so as you notice the coefficient are the same, or the slope are the same, and the y-intercept, or in this case it's called a constant mm -hmm. when you're not graphing, are different. No solution. That means if you graph, the lines will never meet. There's no answer. So graph that. Most of you know how to do this. If it doesn't have a y-intercept, it's a plus zero. It does. The y-intercept is zero. It's called the y-intercept. Go up two, right one. Up two, right one. Go down like that and get there at 6 right there down 1 right 1 so your answer is one solution or they'll meet at 2 and 4 the graph will meet, either you write the graph will meet at 1 and 4, or you write one solution, which means the graph will meet at math term 2, 4. Okay, last one, a restaurant used this equation. Y equals $35 for each person to approximate its profit per day. Profit Y per day where x is the number of customer. On Friday they'll have 11 customer for lunch and 35 customer for dinner. So 11 customer plus 25, you get 36 customer altogether. That's your x, that's the number of customer. How much did they earn in profit? Minus 325 Substitute this number into here. 35 times 36 minus 325. You do that, you get your answer. They will earn. Mm. Get a calculator. Thirty-five times thirty-six minus three hundred twenty-five. Get they earn nine hundred and thirty-five dollars. That's how much they earn.